Yeah. Yo, hip hop is real. Back of the class. He don't need no introduction. Introduce yourself. What up, bro? How you feeling? Where we at? Bags and body season two. Uh huh. Forget the house. Uh huh. Shit was lit with three for three. Come four on. He is for Facts. We got a little uh, make up. One round battle and that turned out to be the four for four. Facts. Man, so look. New Midwest. My brother. We win the whole shit. We here. My nigga Bo. So it feel good you in the crib? Yes, sir. That shit, man. I'm celebrating right now. I ain't gonna lie, but you know I fuck with you, though. So we in the crib, man. It's the opportunity that, um... Come in here. I'm in the crib too. My nigga top I'm bowing out grace, man. And the guy, brother. I just want to give you a dollar, bash money, and spills. Come on, let me buy my car, bro. Is this the opportunity you've been waiting on? Yeah, man. 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 Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't got the, I don't got the craziest resume. I ain't been on certain stages yet. You know what I'm saying? Been on certain platforms, but not stages. I got a lot of work to do, so uh, this is one of them. So, man, shout out Hitman Holla, cause he ain't have to do this shit. Yeah, shout out to Hitman he season out two. To me and let's say less. It Pack my bag. Like I'm, I'm there. Ooh, Pack my bag. I'm there. Started writing. And, so shout out him. How did you feel about the battle with Fan? Uh bro, that nigga was violent, dog. He was talking this shit. He was talking some shit, man. I, I felt like he went crazy. But I went crazier, bro. And it's a, like, like everybody thinks that going last is key. It can be if you know how to snatch momentum. You know what I'm saying? When I went first, I don't be discouraged. I set the bar. I feel like I set the bar every round. And he had to reach the bar every round or pass the bar. And it's probably a round where he might have passed it. But might have been this other round where he might have didn't pass. But overall, I feel like we had a great enough battle to where motherfuckers going to watch it again so they really can determine the winner and, and how that winner won. You get right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Fuck, I fuck with the battle because content wise, I was listening to him. You know what I'm saying? I was hearing what he was saying and he was saying some shit. I can't even front. I just was standing there like I wasn't caring because. You know, that's just boys, defense. I gotta, I gotta act like he ain't talking about shit, but no, real, real. He was, he was saying some shit. Saying some shit. <laughs> Motherfucker's crazy. Man. Hey. Alright, so. We in the house. Some of the people from season one coming back. How you feel about that? I already knew that. Going into this battle, like... Matter of fact, I knew that from the Bash Money versus Bags and Bodies a few months ago. Mm -hmm. they had, that, that that's what they was doing. They was bringing back a few people from the first season. So I feel like that's dope. You get what I'm saying? Considering it's 16 motherfuckers at a, with, at a chance of 100,000. It's like you don't want to give a, a whole new 16 motherfuckers a chance. You do want to get those motherfuckers that might have got eliminated later on down the line that could have won another chance right. it and mix it with new people. I like that concept, so I, I feel, I, I respect it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the challenge is going to be more so on the new people than the people from first season because they already, uh, they got experience with this shit and they kind of know the ins and outs. So I'm looking forward to it regardless. Do you um do we already know the old ones that's coming back? No, 
No. 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 Except the ones he announced. Um, except the couple of ones he announced today. Yeah, except the couple. Of okay. Ones. Yeah, okay. He, he, ain't, he ain't put the cat out. Okay, because I was finna ask you who the fuck you want to get up out of there first. Ah man, it don't even matter, bro. One less person is, <laughs> is one step closer. You feel me? Facts. But, facts. Yeah. Facts. I look forward to this shit. This shit was lit tonight. Whole night was lit. Like, yeah, the whole night was lit. Definitely. The battle placement was perfect. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Momentum wise, it just kept going upstairs. Was um uh, was all the battles called Feather You tonight? Yeah, yeah. Why you ask me that? I was just asking, bro. <laughs> Why you ask me that? <laughs> I'm just asking questions, bro. Nah, I feel like my shit was for sure. Okay. Uh, just because of the bricks. Uh, they both got in the house. Yeah. I, I, I like yeah. that call. I love that call because it was one one going to the third. Ball. It was definitely an announcement that he. One of the best niggas I had. It was definitely an announcement hey, that look, that you, you. Hold on, hold on. It it, it 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 was announced that you coming back in the house, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, season two. Huh? Yeah, season two. Yeah, so so he fuck around to get your ass up out of there early. Then what? Why are you dapping and hugging and Why shit? Why he going for the juggling like? That? Hey, first of all, first first of all, I'm gonna say it like this. I'm gonna say it like this. <laughs> You just celebrate when it's time to celebrate and it's war when it's time to war. I'm going to say it like this, right? Because I just came over to give bro his flowers. It's a lot of, like, attribute niggas got in battle rap, right? You got the, the bar niggas, the drug talk. I ain't never seen a nigga as direct as this nigga. Like, all up in a nigga face just talking that shit. Like, he's just direct. Now, trust me, I know. I done stood in front of it. KD vs. Bill Collector. I mean, KD vs. Prana never dropped. Hopefully it's never dropped. No. You know what I'm saying? But no, 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 no. Shout out to you. Yeah, but no, I man, I just came to get bro his flowers, man. Bro was on it from round one. Yeah. On it from round one. Then round two was some more. Round three was some more. That was a 30 piece, man. Mm. You know, that was a. And I fucks with fame. I fucks with him. Fame man. was talking that shit, fame though. Was, it just kind of like. Fame. Rapidly rap fame don't really. That shit. Rapidly rap don't really work versus him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just don't work. I don't know what works. I got to study him again. I fuck with a few of his punches. Season two gonna be crazy. No, bro was talking shit, I though. I fuck with a few of them. I just feel like substance wise, I have more substance than him. Yeah. And in this particular battle, that was counting for him. Like, that was, that determined votes for real, mm-hmm. for real. Because we had a similar talk. I'm out of here, Pete, though, man. No, my nigga, bro. What we doing? Let me talk to you after camera. Gotcha. <laughs> we about, about, about to turn up, dog. <laughs> Fact, good, man, bro. Atlanta, bro. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we want to lean into something else real quick, man. I know it's it's probably a touchy conversation for you, cause them your guys. What's going on with Black Compass, bro? Shit, I don't know. Like legit. I'm not talking about on no bad shit, bro. Because I, I really know. want them I'm around, not bro. A part of Black Compass, I fuck with. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I That's why I'm with asking. Black Compass members, but a lot of people do. You get what I'm saying? A lot. Like Black Compass is appreciated and welcomed in this culture. You get what I'm saying? So I ain't the only one that fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? But. Like I, I, I really can't honestly tell you. Like I, I can't. I ain't make it seem like I don't know what's going on, but I don't. And I think everybody don't. And that's the problem. Motherfuckers be just prime. You get what I'm saying? They just want to know what's going on, and they just take whatever little information it is and twist it, and then uh, it's everything in a frenzy. And it's like, damn, it don't matter what truth or how much conviction a motherfucker speak it in. You ain't gonna believe him because you already made it up in your mind what it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you on the fly. You really don't know. But but it's not that it's not just that you don't know. You ain't post no. It ain't your business. And we need to normalize motherfuckers minding their business. Just because I'm a battle rapper, that don't mean everything I do gotta be documented and labeled as battle rapper did this. Battle rapper said that I'm still a fucking human being, bro. I can't mm-hmm. go to the grocery store without a caption being battle rapper buys groceries. You get what I'm saying? Like, just because I'm a battle rapper, that don't mean you have to associate everything with battle rap with me. Like, 
And I feel like that's what motherfuckers have been just doing lately. They think because somebody is related to the culture that every step and move they make got something to do with battle rap. And it's mm -hmm. like, nah, bro, whatever they got going on, they got everybody doing something different in life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out Cola. Shout yeah, out Tony Yeah, shout bro. out Cola, Tony Shout bro. out Polo. Polo. Yeah. You know, shout out Black Compass, bro, because I, I, they was one of the first medias that embraced me when I was up and coming in this shit. You know what I'm saying? And getting my foot back in this shit. Tone, tone bro, specifically. If we want to take it there, you know what I'm saying? He he, a motherfucker that embraced me, and Tom bro been solid. Like if you, you can have a survey around this bitch, twenty people. I bet nineteen people say Tom bro cool as a fan. Facts. I bet they say that man solid. He don't mean no harm on nobody. None of that shit. So I, I don't ever buy an effect outrage, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't buy an effect outrage. I don't buy on jumping on the bandwagon. Cause everybody's saying one thing. Fuck that shit, man. Hopefully, whatever they got going on, the smoke get cleared and they can proceed as. Yeah, because I definitely want it to be clear, bro. Because I'm not gonna lie, that man, they had Twitter Spaces going crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie, they had Twitter Spaces going crazy. So I'm like, come back, bro. I mean. Y'all admitted the um the wrongdoing and just come on back. Don't dip on us. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Like don't dip. That's what I'm saying, bro. You ain't see not a blog about me talking about the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, I fuck with them. But and I don't want them to be in a position where everybody is like trying to push them out, bro. No, I don't like that shit neither. I don't. Because there's so many other motherfuckers that should have been pushed out. It's like why y'all ain't why y'all ain't had that same energy with them? Cause the situation different. Okay, let's say it is different. Let's be fair and say the situation is different. Which one is worse? I guarantee the motherfucking situation is way worse than what Black Compass got going on. What's wrong? It's just fake outrage, bro. And I I don't I never respect that shit, bro. Cause motherfuckers don't know how to think for themselves. They gotta go off what another motherfucker saying and take it at face value without doing no proper research. That's why they call it research. Right. Research. Do your own motherfucking research. Exactly. Not saying don't believe what a nigga tell you, but still do research. your yeah. research. That yeah. way you can confirm, like, okay, two plus two is four. Right. Not just listening to a motherfucker. I don't, I don't, I don't, I never respect that shit. Man. But. Do what they want to do, bro. Yeah, my gonna do what they want to do, man. My gonna do what they want to do. On a positive note, this shit was dope as hell, bro. Yeah, yeah. Shout out That's, Hitman. You know what I'm saying? KD. Hey, Hitman. Shout out, man. Bags and Body Season 2, bro. Season 1 was great. Around a good job, bro. Appreciate it. Hope bro. Season 2 be better. Real shit. This I'm Season dope, 1. Man. I believe it. What's the move? Yeah, I'm been worried. I've been feeling like some of that girl show. So I've been there all day now. Wilding out May 22nd to June 3rd. And I'm probably in the May 22nd to June 1st, June 30th. Oh, damn. I thought it was going to be Hitman and Geechee um, in there somewhere. All right. <laughs> but, but, man, listen, man. This nigga Hitman really doing some shit. He making the shit happen. It's all good. You in the house, nigga. Good shit. Good shit, nigga. My nigga, real shit, bro. Stay positive, man. We out here. Hip hop is real, bro. Shout out, hip hop is real. You man. already know the Come song, on, back of the class, Shout man. Shout out my nigga, no bars and knowledge. Hey. You know what I'm saying? My dog always feeling the Come on, man. man. Come on, man. man. Come on, man. And then, like, it's a privilege because you really don't fuck with nobody. Bro. Shout out. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Even though it's on your platform, yeah. Uncle Rod. No, man. Shout out hip hop, bro. I, I, that's pretty, that's really who I fuck with for real, for real. I don't fuck with these other fake media because they, that's that's, it's my opinion. That's what I deem them though. Mm -hmm. Fake media, a fake media. Mm -hmm. Like you can exclusively walk up to me with your camera out like you did now and get an interview from me. Right. These other motherfuckers gotta steal content. They gotta wait till you live, or they gotta wait till you in a Twitter space yeah. and record on their yeah. end yeah. and create content. 
and let and you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, that shit is unwelcome, it's unwanted, it's unapproved. But y'all do what y'all y'all do what y'all want to because y'all can't. Y'all abuse doing what y'all want to because y'all can't, because y'all grown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all abuse that shit. I don't respect it. I don't respect it. Shedding light on negative shit and then trying to justify with shedding life on positive shit sometime or once every blue moon. That don't, that don't, that don't offset to me, bro. That ain't nothing fair in that. And mo them motherfuckers just need to slowly but surely disappear, bro. But unfortunately, it's a fan base and market in drama and conflict. So they around for the old, for that part of the culture, not the real motherfuckers, the weird motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. They already know that. That's why mm -hmm. the captions be what they be. The whatever pictures and videos or the thumbnail that they use be what it be. It, it be that detailed because they already know what audience they trying to capture. They not putting shit out there for two likes and seven views. They put shit out there for 202 likes and 700 views. So they know how to dress that shit up, but I, I never respect it, though. Facts. 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 Real shit. Yeah. Composure is what I think was your best attribute tonight. And you was just composed with everything that you was breaking down. Everything, like, you just you seem like you're ready. You know what I'm saying? Doing your thing. You know Real mean? shit, bro. So, hey, keep it up. Yeah, it's you very control. direct. You control your crowd. You know what I'm talk about? You know right. Man? He was very direct, nigga, though. Bro. Real shit, bro. You see it here, very man. direct. Fuck the haters. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Of course, nigga. I, I, nigga, I got so many in the battle I ain't a uh, million dude, nigga, that I ain't respecting in this culture. Fuck them all. Fuck them all, bro. I'm a real nigga. I'm a man first. And that mean more than anything. I don't give a fuck about none of these niggas' views, none of their money. That ain't none of my business. Whatever is Piranha or Talante business is Piranha and Talante business. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what this nigga talking about. Mm -hmm. Straight up. I don't do half, I don't do nine, 99 percent of the shit these niggas do to me. Right. But I don't trip neither. Cause that ain't me. <laughs> That's them. That's why they do it. Fuck mm -hmm. them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas finna find um find something to do now, nah, ain't you? Hell uh -huh. man, what? Saturday uh -huh. night in Atlanta, bro. You know what's up. What, what, what we doing? Man, shit, nigga. It's plenty of shit to it's do. It's a lot of shit on you right. It's, it's plenty of shit, shit to do, bro. It, it, it depends on what y'all looking for. Man, listen. It depends on what y'all looking for, bro. I got the rest of this cup. I got... A nigga said the rest of this cup. I got... I ain't gonna say it on camera, but uh, I got some A full green. tank of I got, gas. I got something to smoke on. Gas and gas. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Gas and gas. I got gas and gas. I'm... You know what I'm saying? I'm straight. Safe, nigga. And, hey, you know, congratulations. Just congratulations. Hey, congratulations to hey, you Brit, too, you want to tell them, Joe? Tell them what? What's congratulations. How what's going on break? with you hey, right man. now? You know what I said, man? Sleeping bags and bodies. Every room is mine. And there you go, nigga. <laughs> there you go. Right it's my, my nigga, though. Out. It's my nigga right <laughs> here. Hey, nigga. Introduce yourself. Just cuz, man. Y'all know what it is. New England rapping. And what you doing? You know, we bags and bodies. Nigga. And niggas think this some sort of form, I promise you. When the money on the line and it's going crazy, I'm about to wild out, bro. Uh-huh. Respect to everybody in the house. But this what we hit. Who your home league is, bro? Shout out TBL, take over Battle League in New England, man. Shout out my man Zay, Chilla Jones. I just had a crazy car with T-Rock, okay. uh, Twerk, uh, motherfucking Drake, Dennis. All these niggas is out there, man. We Ooh, up, man. working. So you already know the vibe. My nigga, bro. Appreciate man, Joe, you. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Not on camera. You just said it on camera. I said it, but don't, <laughs> you asking me. That don't mean nothing. Why don't Man, hip-hop is real, man. Back <laughs> of the <laughs> class, man. <laughs>